animation is cinema. That's the general mantra that I hear a lot on the internet, and I mostly agree with it. In my view, animation is the best medium to tell a story because of the variety of styles you can use compared to live action. Now, if you watched any of my recent videos, you would know that I believe Pixar has been the animation studio that produced the best animated films. Sure, they had some misses here and there, and they are no stranger to cash grabs, but their track record does speak for itself. As much as I give credit to many animated films for being cinema, however, there's no denying that some animated films are just not that. Some films are just made to entertain people in a non-serious way with minimal amount of effort put into the quality of the story. For me, Illumination has been the animation studio that has been so successful in pulling this off. And I've developed a bit of a mixed opinion on them because of that over the years. After seeing this big old me 4, my thoughts on them have been further vindicated. In a lot of ways, Illumination and Pixar are actually two sides of the same coin. That coin being animation studios that have been very successful in making movies that appeal to the masses. Throughout the past 30 years of Pixar's feature films, five of them have grossed over a billion dollars. Meanwhile, Illumination, with half the time of making films, has already made three films that grossed over a billion dollars, with at least two of their films not that far behind. To put that into perspective, DreamWorks has produced over three times the amount of films as Illumination, and none of them have ever grossed over a billion dollars. Although Shrek 2 has come close. Maybe Shrek 5 will finally change that. But we'll have to see. Anyway, there's no denying that these two animation studios have their ways of dominating the box office. But their methods of achieving the success in theaters could not be any further apart. Pixar for the past couple decades has been renowned for the quality of their films. They take pride in their process and making their movies. In each film they make, they always try to push the boundaries in what they can animate. With Toy Story, they try to emulate plastic with computer animation. In Monsters Inc., they try to emulate fur and hair. In Finding Nemo, the challenge was water. For The Incredibles, the challenging part was animating humans. With Cars, the challenge was reflections with the metallic bodywork. I can go on and on about this. The point is that Pixar really tries their best to push the quality of their own animation and use it to tell a wide variety of stories from showing what goes on inside the mind to traveling to the land of the dead. Aside from that, they also put in hidden details or easter eggs for their eagle-eyed fans to catch. While this isn't inherently unique to Pixar nowadays, the fact that they go out of their way to put in details like this is quite respectable. Pixar also pays close attention to their voice acting, the comedy, the music score, and other tangible elements to make sure they look and sound as good as they could be. Also, there's no doubt that Pixar does try their best to make sure their films have good writing. Mostly. Yeah, they had some misses here and there, but even with the Pixar films that people did not like as much, I'd still argue they have a better story than even the best of Illumination's films. At least with every Pixar film, you can take away a key important message as a viewer. Even for something like Cars 2, which felt like it was written by people who were drunk and high, still had a semi-decent message. That being, you should just be yourself. The seriousness that Pixar has when it comes to making sure their films are as great as they can possibly make from an artistic perspective is why I and a lot of other people have respect for the animation studio. And this work clearly paid off in the box office. Compared this with Illumination and their films, the quality difference is just night and day. Now, that is not to say Illumination movies are horrible though. In fact, one thing I will give credit to them is they are more consistent in their quality compared to Pixar and even DreamWorks, which in my opinion is the most inconsistent out of all of the major animation studios. But the only reason why their quality is so consistent is because Illumination almost never does anything inherently new with their films. For the most part, their movies play it safe when it comes to execution. When it comes to the plot of these movies, they're very predictable. The characters tend to go through the most basic character arcs you would expect from the protagonists and antagonists. The music score for these films are either general pop songs, which are okay in my view, and any original music these movies have don't really tend to be memorable. The areas where Illumination tends to perform more than average are the voice acting, animation, and comedy. Although, the credit I'll give for voice acting only applies to the Despicable Me franchise, Steve Carell has done a great job in making Gru an iconic character, and Pierre Coffin does a really good job voicing the minions to be fair. When it comes to animation, 
Illumination has come a long way in making it look really good, with a unique style to its characters. But for the most part, their films don't really take advantage of their animation quality to show visually creative stories. Even something like the Super Mario Bros movie, which I think is one of Illumination's best films, doesn't really utilize the animation quality as high as it could. Although I'll give credit for the amount of easter eggs that movie had, definitely one of the main reasons why I like that movie so much. Then there's the comedy, which a lot of defenders of the Despicable Me franchise will say is its strongest attribute. To be fair, that was the case with the first two Despicable Me films, but the comedy has not really evolved as much as it should compared to the animation. As a result, much of the humor in the newer films like Despicable Me 4 felt rather tired and corny. Combine that with the writing of this movie, which is honestly a mess with all of its multiple non-connected storylines, the film was simply not as enjoyable as the first two movies, which is a shame because the first two movies actually had well-written stories with heartwarming moments. Ultimately, my distaste for Despicable Me 4 is especially bad right now because the last movie I saw before it was Inside Out 2, which is leaps and bounds better in every aspect. Even if you are someone who doesn't really watch movies critically like I do, I still think Inside Out 2 is a more enjoyable film because its animation feels more fresh and the comedic moments just land better. Of course, most people are not going to dispute that Pixar makes higher quality animated films. So comparing these two movies is rather pointless. But again, the reason why I am comparing them is because these two films are projected to dominate the box office this year. With Inside Out 2, that is well deserved given how good the movie is. But Despicable Me 4 is a film that is only as successful as it is because of its brand and the fact that nothing is inherently new with its story compared to the earlier films. I mean, the girls have not aged at all throughout the past 14 years of this franchise. And according to the director of the movie, they are likely not going to get any older anytime soon. All in all, the reason why I have mixed opinions towards Illumination is because their films in a way actively go against what I'm trying to show people with my channel. There is a general consensus among average people that most of animation is just for kids. Sure, most people are becoming more accepting of it as a medium, but the stigma still remains, especially when it comes to western animation. The whole point of what I do here on YouTube is to show how animated content, even the ones where kids are its primary target, is still very much enjoyable and impactful for older viewers like me. But annoyingly, it's hard to make that argument when Illumination continues to make films whose sole purpose is to entertain young kids and general people who just want to get a cheap laugh from cheesy jokes. Now, to be clear, I have nothing against anyone who does enjoy Despicable Me 4 or any films from the studio. You enjoy whatever you like. But personally, I don't like how films like this are the ones that people in the general public see as the typical example of animation because of how successful it is. Although, the one upside is that for this year at least, while Illumination will once again have a box office hit that will likely gross a billion dollars, Pixar with Inside Out 2 will very likely be the top grossing animated film of the year. And I'm glad they'll achieve that with a film that really deserves it in my view. But what do I know? These are just my thoughts on Illumination and how they compare to Pixar. Let me know what you guys think of both animation studios down in the comments below. And please give this video a like and subscribe for more content like this. With all that being said, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one.